Hi guys, Varun here from 499. We are live from CS 2014. And guess uh, who we have here? We have Anki Drive. You might have seen Anki Drive at the uh, Apple keynote uh, when uh, uh, Tim Cook introduced something cool at the Apple keynote recently. And they are already in the market and they've been selling some cars uh, in the market. Not the real cars, but these are toys for even uh, kids and even grown-up kids in us. So let's uh, speak to Hans from uh, Anki and hear from him about the whole Anki Drive thing and what's it about. Yeah, hi, thanks for stopping by. Yeah, so um, Anki Drive is a racing game. It's the first product we released and uh, we uh, released it uh, pretty much exactly two months ago. And um, it's even though it's a real physical racing game, it has a lot of, of the characteristics which you normally only find in video games. So as you can see, and the cars are driving around the track and um, you can either uh, control them yourself using something like an iPhone or you can choose uh, the cars to drive completely on their own. So what that means is I can, uh, for example, play against you and both of us control each a car, but then we have another two or three cars which drive themselves. So we can race against any number of opponents uh, even though we're only two people. So that's something which is very well known in video games, but it doesn't really exist in real physical things. Um, the other thing which I really like is um, that our cars are really characters. So um, they develop over time. The cars you and I buy today are going to be very different tomorrow, and they're going to be very different in two or three weeks from now. So as you and I get better when we race, the cars are going to get better as well. And so they're constantly going to challenge us and constantly going to try to beat us. So that makes the whole game fun for a really extended period of time. And the third thing I really like is that the cars are upgradable via software. So initially they are pretty fast but not super fast. But as I get points while I race, I can upgrade my cars and I can choose the car to be faster or more precise in curves or be equipped with all kinds of capabilities. And I can choose to go through this, those upgrades the way I want and then next time I race against you my car is going to be very different from your car and then we're going to see who did a better job at upgrading them. So those things that you can, I guess, play against computer controlled cars that you can uh, um, uh, race against other people and then that you can upgrade your cars those are the things which make Anki Drive very different from uh, any other product out there. So what's the pricing like and how many cars, what's the default uh, like yeah package available in the store? Yeah, so um, what we call the base set, uh, you can buy in Apple stores for example. It's a uh, mat, it's a uh, three and a half by eight and a half foot racetrack and it comes with two cars and the chargers and all the accessories you need, uh, the carrying cases, uh, the wall plug, the tire cleaners, things like that. So that's $199 and then you can get uh, two extra expansion cars in stores right now and each of them is $69.